how self-help and depression led me to being a software engineer. So when I was 18, I was lost as my first year of university. I really didn't know anything about life like I thought I did, but I was mostly a sad kid and didn't have anything going for them. I was skinny fat. If you know what skinny fat is, it's like the worst possible thing that you could have where you're like you have fat, but you're also skinny. During that time, it was mostly just me doubting myself, really anxious, really bad mental health. And it was my first year of university. So I was going a lot to university. I was making new friends. I was partying. You know the vibe. However, during that period of time, I eventually said enough is enough. I don't want to be this overweight. And I eventually chose to lose weight and get on self-help. So I lost the weight. I lost around 30 to 40 pounds. By 19, though, although I had a really sick body and I looked good, I was very, very, very depressed. And I noticed in that time that just losing weight and looking better won't fulfill your life nor will it make your life that much better if your mental health isn't there. So I was looking for what was causing my mental health to deteriorate. And it was first my eating disorder, which I developed from losing weight. I was so focused on losing weight that I was just counting every single calorie. Like I would count how much sugar was in my coffee, like that bad. Or how much ketchup was in my plate, like it was crazy. So again, I was looking for ways to fix my mental health. So I started to meditate. I started doing everything on the self-help stuff. If you know anything about self-help, it's like meditation, no fap, um, socializing, you know the stuff, right? Like working out more, just just everything. And anyways, it, my, my mental health was still bad, but I started doing these habits more. And the more I did this, the more I found that I was attracted to business. So I started to fix my mental health. And I actually started my first business. Now you may think, oh, Nizar, you, know, you learned how to code? No, it wasn't code. It was for, because the only thing I knew at the time was fitness. I started my first fitness business. It was a personal training service. I have a gym at home, so I got people to come to my house and do personal training at my house. So eventually that led to online training, but the, the eventually it failed. I'll just say that. Not because I didn't make money. I was actually making like a thousand dollars a month from it. And as a student, that's not bad at all. I'm, I was living with my parents at the time. So it was a good chunk of change. But I just hated it so much. My love of fitness just got destroyed because of that business. I was in it every day. I was thinking about new video ideas. I was talking to people about it. So if you're thinking about starting a business in a field of passion, don't do it for the love of God because you're going to hate it. Anyways, that business failed and I was like, oh my God, I need to find something else. I don't want to work a job. I would like to do something that's more interesting in my life. I want to do something that's fulfilling. And that eventually led me to learning a little bit of code. Now, now I've always dabbled in code. Like I, I taught my, I, so for example, a couple years ago, I started to code a little bit. Like I took a coding course in school, but I didn't like it. So having that idea again was a little scary because I always had a little bit of self-doubt in my mind and I didn't know if it was legit or not. I did some research and I realized that you can teach yourself how to code online, which I found cool. And I talked to a couple of friends who said you should use Codecademy. So I was like, okay. And I just started coding away. Anyways, so up until now, which is in the present moment, I'm teaching myself how to code and I'm about to launch my first business. It's been a long journey, man. Like it's obviously just started. But I still remember the days where I was really depressed and just going to the gym just for my mental. And I, I do miss those days because it was a really interesting time. But I also don't miss it. Like, it was a tough time. And if you know anything about real depression and real anxiety, it sucks. It was really bad. That was really my story. I really hope anyone out there that wants to start a business or wants to learn code but is also on self-help watches this video i mean i don't know what target audience this really relates to go out there man do your shit like I, I never knew i could learn how to code like i never knew that but I'll, because it was an interest of mine i was like oh let me try it out and i eventually fell in love with it and i fell in love with the process and now i'm at a point where i'm quite developed anyways guys if you enjoyed the video let me know and i'll see you guys in the next video peace